One of my um, the fondest, I think, and earliest memories about the cathedral is uh, Easter Sunday and the release of the birds. And I think it's a, a beautiful symbol in our culture. There's thousands of birds uh, as part of the sculpture. Each one has been hand sculpted by me and I wanted to make sure that the birds all had a personality and some of them were silent, um, some of them were shrieking, you know, so there's all kinds of different moods of the birds. Uh, each one captures a different expression. The piece is obviously a very symbolic one for me and a meaningful one for me. The framework of the piece is inspired by the traditional Armenian art form of the khachkar, which are stone cross markers, which, you know, from my point of view, are our sort of greatest Armenian artistic legacy. I've used that shape of the tall rectangle, the vertical rectangle, as a reference to the Armenian khachkar. But in my piece, you know, there's a, a gigantic crack, a void that comes down from the top of the khachkar in the shape of historic Armenia. I spent a lot of time and worked with a lot of experts to actually map the Armenian settlements as they were before the genocide, came up with, with the historically accurate shape of what Armenia looked like then, and then took the map and just turned it on its side. There's something very symbolic of the idea of the country being turned upside down or put sideways. The birds, of course, symbolize you know, the fleeing of Armenians from their homeland. That void of the historic map now, you know, emptied of its, of its residents, emptied of its people. It's a migration. I've um, chosen to call the piece Migrations, and uh, for me it's a, a multiple migration. It's not just a migration of place. It's not just people being forced to leave their homeland and going someplace else. It's a migration of spirit. It's a migration of soul. You have this idea of birds always remembering where their home is and coming back to their homeland at some point. And, you know, we're at that stage now after a hundred years where I think so many of us are really rediscovering our homeland. The other thing that's, I think, very symbolic of the piece is when you look at it in the high polished stainless steel, you see your own reflection. And I think it's about our history, our experience, and, you know, really looking at the piece, but at ourselves as survivors, of people who are still here as a testimony to who we are, and where we are. For me, the, the sculpture is very much about like sort of the diaspora and experience and, and about family histories also. When you look at the piece, you know, you, you look at the, the different directions that, that the birds are flying into. And, and I think, you know, anyone from, from anywhere in the world, any Armenian that comes and sees the piece could relate to their own family history through the piece. As Armenians, it's something we're always grappling with, is, you know, how to talk about our history and talk about what we've been through and how we survive, you know. And I think that, you know, in spite of the symbolism, in spite of you know, all the elements that I've been thinking about as I've created the piece, there is a sense of, of journey and um, progression.